What's up, my lovely Virgos? All right, guys, so I've been telling uh, you, Gemini, and who did I just do? Leo, guys, that I did not do your love ratings for May because it was right before my birthday trip. And then because of who I am as a person, I extended it for like two weeks of just partying and having a blast. So I wanted to get these out to you anyways. I'm still going to do a past, present, and future look, so it is not a waste of time. I know a lot of you could ask, why are you doing this the last day of May? But I owe you, and I don't like leaving anybody out, guys. So we'll do a past, present, future look. Today's May 30th. You know what's happened in the past, what you're dealing with now, what can come up in the future. And then you'll get some more love in June. So just consider this kind of a bonus to see where everything is right now at this time. Okay, guys? So Virgo, let's see what's going on. Now, this will be sun, moon, and rising signs, okay? And um, at the end, I will do separate advice for singles and then for couples so you guys know where you fall with everything. But I hope your May was well. I hope you guys had a blast. For those of you that finished your college semesters, schooling, anything like that, congrats. Have a shout out to Kira for me. All right, so let's see what's going on, Virgo. What is going on with my lovely Virgos? May 2018 with love. And for anyone waiting for a personal reading, I should be fully done with all of them in a few days. So just bear with me. I'm getting them out. Okay, guys. So the energy that we have here is the Fool card. All right. So you could have something new coming in, completely new territory. Uh, but you could be ending something that was very unstable where you're very unhappy. Maybe a little hesitant to move forward, but something beautiful still ahead. All right. So let's see what's going on, guys. First card you have for the past, Page of Cups, could have been a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio that you were talking to, or this is just uh, communication where you're emotionally invested or someone's speaking to you in an emotionally, you know, driven way. Why is this Page of Cups here? Justice card, all right, let's get one more card here. And the Nine of Swords in the Reverse. So... Here, I feel like you guys are talking to someone. I feel like there's a sense of balance that you feel. Um, it could also be a karmic situation. With the justice card, maybe you're dealing with something legal, um, but this could be a sense of finding balance. Now, when the justice card comes out for me, uh, I feel like the balance is going to depend on the position that you played prior. All right, so if you were causing somebody a huge headache and just doing things that were a little shady, this is when karma kind of kicks your ass a bit. Um, if you feel like you were getting the short end of things, this is when things start to work out in your favor. So it just depends what role you're playing, okay? The next card that we have, Nine of Wands. So you guys are a bit tired, but you're really standing your ground through a lot of adversity that you're dealing with, okay? We have the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. So uh, one of two things is happening. Either you guys are getting into a relationship, whether it's reconciling with someone from the past or someone completely new. Or you guys are dealing with someone who's being very selfish, acting like a leech, acting very entitled in an area that they shouldn't. All right? So that could be you. That could be the other person. And we have the death card in the verse. So something that needs to end that hasn't yet ended. Someone here is really standing their ground, but there's a strong sense of speaking your mind, saying what's on your mind, being very clear, and accepting the fact that somebody's manipulating someone here and that it should end. Okay? And I feel like that could definitely bring happiness to uh towards you if you're ending something all right we have the king of swords in the reverse so whether this is you guys or possibly uh an air sign but it could be any sign guys with this energy this is someone who's going to be very selfish this is someone who is going to be abusive in some ways uh someone that's only worried about themselves so this character is going to come about in two ways it did come about if someone kept pushing, 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 and pushing you, and then you kind of just wake up one day and it's like, ah, fuck you, and it's like, you know, you're you're kicking this person out, you know, you're throwing their clothes out a window, that sort of thing. Or this could be somebody that's just straight up malicious, that they just wake up and they want to be an asshole that day, okay? So let's see what's up with this King of Swords in the reverse. We have the Page of Swords. So you guys could have been dealing with the Libra Aquarius or Gemini. Very strong air energy here. 
and the Ace of Wands in the reverse. So being very direct that there's something that needs to end here, okay? And I feel like there's someone here that's very happy that it's ending, okay? Um, and someone's able to move forward. But there's a strong sense of betrayal here and a new beginning that's coming out of this betrayal. Now, in the present moment, we have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. So maybe you guys lose feelings for someone or there's something that you just don't want to move forward with. Eight of Cups, turn your back on something that you were once emotionally invested in. Okay, being very guarded towards this person that you are now choosing to leave in the past. There's definitely heartbreak here. There could be disappointment here, but you're being strong and you're being resilient. For some of you, maybe you're dealing with Leo because I do see fire energy popping up a lot for you as well. Ten of Wands. So trying to be strong at a time where the weight of the world is on your shoulders. Feeling very burdened, but you see everything clearly for what it is now. You have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. So you're you're not blinded anymore. The blindfolds are off. There's no knives stacked around you. You can walk away now. Okay. You know that the relationship that you may have been in or the person that you felt strongly about it could have been a lost cause. There was things that were very imbalanced here. There wasn't an equal effort that was being put into this. All right. Now there's a new start coming in for a lot of you with this. Um, you know, the Empress card next to the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Maybe it's a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that you guys are going towards. But there's going to be this sense of imbalance here. And I think that it's because for you guys, primarily, you're not in the best place when it comes to maybe what you had to leave behind or what you just dealt with. All right. But something new is coming in. There's just going to be time before you find that equal balance. All right. But very strong Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy coming in for you. Now, the first card for the future, we have the Queen of Cups. Let's see why this beauty is here. Nine of Cups. So something where your emotions are going to feel stable. You're going to feel like you can trust the person that you're around. You're going to be very happy. You're going to feel like you have gotten victory, like you've had success. And, you know, with the hanged man here, you didn't overexert yourself. You wanted to go with the flow. You wanted to just have things in your life that made sense. You don't want to drag anyone into your home or in your bed or to, uh, you know, you, you don't want to force anyone to love you. Or maybe you don't want to force yourself to try to love somebody else. But with the tower card, there's a huge change that comes in. But I feel like it's for the better. Okay. You have the Knight of Swords. So it could be an air energy that you're dealing with in the past. But for a lot of you, with the Knight of Swords here, I feel like you're just cutting out anything that was detrimental in your love life. All right? And you have the Five of Wands, so you're cutting out anything that's brain bullshit. You know, you guys are just deciding to make a huge change, and you're accepting an offer from someone else. You're building in another direction here, okay? And you have the Four of Swords in the reverse, so this isn't something you just jump into. You've put a lot of thought into how you want to move forward, and you did just that. You moved on. You have the emperor in the reverse, so there's someone being fake and uh, dishonest here, maybe with themselves, maybe with you, and the eight of pentacles. So there's something that you guys move on from uh, so that you can start building something else, I feel. But with the emperor in the reverse, this card can be Aries or Virgo, guys. So maybe you weren't being true to yourself in the past. Or maybe you're not being completely honest, you know, with a new person with what you were dealing with, okay? Or maybe you're not telling the person from the past that you have this new person. Um, but there's something that I feel like you guys are keeping to yourself and, you know, kind of just keeping something up your sleeve so you can remain uh, having power in the situation. And I'm not saying it's the worst thing. Maybe you're just doing it to protect yourself, but there's something that you guys have to be very honest with yourselves and with others about. Even if you feel like you have to keep things from people, you know, someone that you left in the past, you know, fuck it. They have no right to know what you're going, you know, what you're getting into. But if you are going into something new, just always keep in mind the way that you start something, the way that you build with someone that sets the precedent for your relationship. All right. So if it's being started off of lies and off of imbalances, um, then it's going to be a really shitty situation at some point down the road. So if you want this to be something good, just be very honest because people can't be pissed off with you if you told them what to expect. Okay. So that's why I'm always real with people, even if it's going to hurt because, hey, you can't get mad at me. I told you. All right. So definitely have that approach to this, guys. All right. And I know with Virgos, you guys are very good at telling people what you want and what's on your mind. Okay. So use that to your advantage at this time. All right, singles, so let's see what the advice is for you, and then we'll move on to the couples. 
And then, yes, that'll be that. For those of you that want a personal reading, you can always check in the description to any of my tarot videos, highvibrationswithliz.com, okay? All right, so for singles, you have someone from your past trying to return, I say it's a no-go. Toxic, it won't work, there'll be too many arguments, all right? So maybe it's a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, but there's someone that you guys really have to make sure you're cutting off because they're literally going to block blessings for you. If you want stability, you have to make sure that that's cut, okay? And I also feel that there's something new and unexpected that wants to come into your life, but you have to make sure that you say no to whoever, um, you know, may be trying to get back into your life from the past or whoever you may want to get back with from the past, okay? So big no for the past for my single Virgos. All right, so couples. What is going on with my Virgo couple? There's a new start that you're trying to have here, guys, but... Um, there's a strong sense that there's just too much unconventionality around you right now, and that's something that you know in your heart, okay? Uh, and it's going to lead to heartbreak because you guys aren't even that into it. Or there's someone that you're not truly that into that still has such a strong presence and hold on your life that uh, it, it's just not going to work out, okay? We have the Magician in the Reverse, we have the uh, Ten of Wands, and we have the Seven of Cups in the Reverse. So what's your advice? See this shit for what it truly is. Put all the cards on the table and stop with the illusions, all right? There's too much funny business over here. Something that you guys have to let go of, all right? I love y'all. I will be back with some June readings. Sorry I got this out so late, but you guys know I would never forget about you. Take care, Virgos. I love you guys.